Shalom, all praises due to Yahweh, Baal Shem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to all you brothers pushing the truth with sincerity throughout the four corners of the globe. Well, you know what I'm saying? We have a problem with the, the comedic Israelites um, that don't want to be a part of the chosen line which they are a part of uh but uh you know what I'm saying it's scriptural we got the proof the proof is in the in the scriptures you know what I'm saying and I'm just gonna bring out a few details and tell it why you know the people of Egypt are separated from the Israelites you know and all that that crap that the black conscious community is spewing about us being Africans, so to speak. And when I say us, I mean people that don't know that they're Israelites, you know. So I'm just going to uh, go into a quick scripture of, uh, let me, let me get it for us. Uh, Exodus 11. And uh, seven, and real quick. Exodus eleven and seven. But against any of the children of Israel shall not a dog move his tongue against man or beast, that ye may know how that the Lord would put a difference between the Egyptians and the Israel, and Israel. It's lucky. So that's just telling you one one reason why. We are different from them. Thus said the Lord, you know what I'm saying? But I'm going to go a little bit more into it. Because if we were the Egyptians, you know what I'm saying? You're, you're picking a losing side, so to speak. We know that today, but back then, it would have been evident, you know what I'm saying? And I'm just going to read a few, a few uh, verses of Scripture from um, Exodus chapter 1. No. And um, I'm going to start at chapter 1, verse 6. And Joseph died, and all his brethren, and all that generation. Verse 7. And the children of Israel were fruitful, and increased abundantly, and multiplied, and waxed exceedingly mighty, and the land was filled with them. So, yes, we did live in Egypt, but we wasn't Egyptians, you know. As I'm going on in the scripture, it's going to tell you that. Now there rose up a new king over Egypt, which knew not Joseph. And he said unto his people, Behold, the people of the children of Israel are more and mightier than we. And notice in verse 9, that new king, which was the new pharaoh that rose up over Egypt, he didn't know about Joseph. So, I'm going to say it again. And he said unto his people, Behold, the people of the children of Israel are more mightier than we. So, if you're claiming that you're Egyptian, that means that uh, you're, you were weak back then. The stature of your nation was very small compared to the sands of the sea, which is the nation of Israel. You see what I'm saying? So why would you want to big up something that's so minute in history? You see what I'm saying? That nation was smaller than the nation of Israel for you dummies in the, in the black countries in this community. Um, and then it goes on to say, come, come on, in verse 10, come on, let us deal wisely with them, lest they multiply. And it come to pass that when they fall out in war, they join also unto our enemies and fight against us. And so get them up out of the land. You see, that Pharaoh, he was already scared because we, we outnumbered them in an uh, increasing alarm and rape, you know, and he didn't, he didn't like that, you know. 
going on the verse uh, uh, jump ahead a little bit you know you read the whole chapter and you know this is the, the history of what what happened in, in um, Egypt verse 14 and they made their lives bitter with hard bondage, bondage and mortar and in brick and all manner of service in the field. All their servants wherein they made them serve was with rigor. So just like in America here, you know, that's why we call this place Egypt. Because once again, there's a, there's a, a government that's over us, but they're scared of us because we outnumbered them. So when we outnumber them, they make us work hard with rigor, you see. Uh, another clue that the traumatic people are true indeed Israelites claiming to be something else. Um, 15, and the king of Egypt spoke to the Hebrew midwives of which the name of one was Sarapha and the name of the other Huah. And he said, when you do the office of midwife to the Hebrew women, and see them upon the stools, if it be a son, then ye shall kill him, but if it be a daughter, then she shall live. So all those comedic people that's claiming that they're Egyptians, <coughs> why would you want to be a part of a nation that uh <coughs> that killed your own people, you know? Because uh Stating out of the scriptures here that the Egyptians hated Israel or the Israelites, which they were called in um, the future. But uh, but the midwives feared Yahweh and did not as the king of Egypt commanded them, but saved the men children alive. So. <clears throat> The Pharaoh asked the, the Hebrew midwives, you know what I'm saying, to kill their own kind. So if you're an Egyptian, this this, this was uh, the thing to do to Israelites, you know. If you claim it to be an Egyptian in this day, you got to be a buffoon. These people were smaller. They were... Uh, they were scared of the Israelites, you know. Wouldn't you rather be a part of a nation that's stronger than this nation that you're claiming? It's just backwards logic. And with that, I'm going to say, Shalom.